Hi there, it's Phil here. I've been quite regularly posting relating to productivity features of using an Apple Mac. Now the productivity item I want to talk to you today about actually works on the PC as well, but I'm going to be showing you it on the Mac. And it's not an Apple product per se, it's a, it's a third party product. Um, I love things like Apple Dictation, which will automatically type for you. It'll spell things correctly, all that kind of thing. Uh, and it makes typing much less painful. But sometimes you might be in a situation where you simply aren't able to dictate to your uh, computer. You might be in an office that's busy or you don't simply don't feel like it. And sometimes there's situations where you might need to type something that's just not that easy to dictate. Um, and this is where Typeinator might come in for you. Uh, I've been using Typeinator for many years and I just wanted to show you a screenshot of the latest version that I've got here. And what you'll see is that uh, in this screenshot you can see that Typeinator for me lately has done 1,107 corrections. And what that means is that it's got the ability to correct misspelt words. Um, it's also done uh, over 10,000 expansions for me. Now what that means is I can program in a shortcut. Typically the shortcut is three or four key presses and it will then type out the rest of the word or the sentence or the paragraph or indeed a whole document for you, depending on what whatever you want to do. Um, and you can see here that it saved me over 10 or 11 hours of uh, time in the time that I might have had this. Now I don't actually know whether this is for just for version 9 or whether it's over the Duke over the course of time that I've actually owned uh, Typeinator. So I just wanted to show you that that is something that I've really been using and I wanted to talk to you about how you could use it, show you how it works uh, just a very quick intro for this. So imagine a situation where you've got a form to fill in on a website. So um, here might be your form. I'm just going to clear it. And typically you get to a form and you might need to fill in a form because you're registering something, you're applying for something, all of those kind of things. They just take time. And I normally get my form filled in within about 20, 20 seconds, probably at the most. So I've made a, uh, an example form here just, as an, uh, just to show you the kind of thing that you can actually do. So the first question you commonly would be asked is, what's your email address? Now in Typeinator, you can program the letters that will then extend out to make your email address. I recommend here, so my first recommendation is that if you've got multiple email addresses, go EM1, EM2, EM3, EM4, for instance, just to cover the amount of email addresses you have. So if I now type in EM1, you'll see that Typeinator fills in that complete um, email address with the at sign and all of that, all stuff that's quite difficult to type. If I now go to my name, this gives you another example of how it might work. You might know that my name is Phil, so P-H-I-L. But I've typed it in in lower case, and it, I never think that's really very professional. But if I now type or literally hit the space bar, it corrects it and puts a, a capital P at the front. I just want to show you something else. If I'm in a situation where I'm being a bit more formal, I can type in fill and a dash afterwards. And I use the dash to signify that I want type in to, to extend out the word. So dash would then type in the full name Philip rather than just Phil. Let's go down to the next thing. If I have a surname that I want to type in, you can just type in any three digits of your, or any three letters of your surname. So I'll put SNM and it will literally type in whatever your surname is. Addresses is perfectly quick for this. So I put, I've just programmed this example as AFL. So my address first line, you can see how that might quite takes quite a time just to type that in and it starts to become tedious. But for me, it was an AFL and it's just done it. Another example is that you can see by my example address, 
starts with 1500 and you probably want to be able to use something more easy for that and sometimes you might forget that you're so you start typing 1500 and you get to the point you go oh, this is too much if you program it to type 1500 and then dash it will then type out the uh, the full address for you so you can see the power of, of the speed of being able to do this for you an address city for instance um, I've put CTY as an example TY you can see that you can correct it and it will still give you an example and uh, type the right thing out as in uh, elsewhere I might have Toronto TOR dash you know that kind of thing you can program in very very easily so let's go back to CTY and what I did earlier is I typed in CYT uh, and you see it doesn't work there but I can go back and correct it and it will still still expand out to the correct address uh, finally um, a, an address state or province I think I'll put ASP here and it might say Virginia but you could have VA dash or PA dash and all of the American states if you're typing in different state names that'd be a great way to save yourself time just so long as you remember what the state code is here if I put PCD there's the postcode and again it's quite a difficult thing to type in and finally let's just type in Canada uh, CDA is what I typed in if I type in USA and I do a space it will do uppercase USA if I type uh, USA and then a dash it types the full United States of America and then finally you can put in a phone number uh, you might put MPN for my phone or my HPN for home phone. If you type in MPN space, there's a phone number for you. That's actually a UK national number. But if you want to do uh, MPN plus to add the plus one, for instance, if you're in the US, I know that that's not the UK code, but I could easily have typed that in. So you get the idea that that's the sort of thing you can very quickly type into uh, Typeinator. So let me show you the Typeinator interface. So the Typeinator interface is very easy to understand. I've got this demonstration set uh, listed just up here as, as the set that I want to use for demonstrations because I literally do use this all of the time and what you'll see here is all of the this is the number of shortcuts that I exist within each set so my demo set has 15 um, expansions available within it or not available but used you can have thousands of expansions if you want to there are predefined sets so auto correction um, is, is something that you can get and you can download those but we'll kind of cover those in a fit in a future one I want to show you how you can create your own shortcut so essentially if I just highlight it that shortcut that is in blue you can see the abbreviation is 1500 dash so 1500 dash will type out whatever is in this uh, area here if I type in AFL for address I can't remember what the other thing was um, but anyway it's going to type in the same thing so you can have multiple um, shortcuts that will expand to the same thing because it's not always easy to un to remember what you've put in there so you can then see all of the other things that I might have put in as an example but let's show you how you add your own so this interface sits here and you've got a plus button which is just there so I'm going to hit the plus button and now in this highlighted abbreviation window I'm going to type in TYP and then I'm going to type a dash which as I said gives me the example that I'm going to expand on that word so then I go to the area below uh, and this is where I type in the expansion term so I'll type capital T, capital T Y P P N A T O R. and so now whenever I type in TYP dash it will automatically type typeinator for me um, 
and it says over here at the moment, it says the case does not matter, which means that I could have it in uppercase or lowercase and it would still type, uh, write the full word in for me. If you wanted it to be where the case mattered, that's great. You can do that. It's a drop down box. Let me show you that drop down box where you've got case must match, uh, case does not matter, or the case affects expansion. So you've got three options there. Um, but I've got case does not matter for nearly 99% of my um, expansions. So I can then let's go back to the form that we just had. And let's type, uh, let's pretend that my first street name is uh, called Typeinator. So let's say I, I live at number one, two, three, uh, Typeinator. I just type ty, TYP dash and it typed in the word for me. So it's as simple as that. It's very much live. If you want to get hold of Typeinator, you can uh, go to the link in the description. I've put a little marker there that says that, that there's a link there. And uh, I hope that that gives you an idea of how that that can save you so much time. It really is a massive time saver. And there's so much more you can do with it. You can type things with code, uh, as I say, full paragraphs, um, sh other shortcuts. It really is a, a fantastic piece of software. So go and grab hold of it if you can. Uh, as I say, the link is in the description if you want to have a look at it. And keep an eye out for me giving you more tips on how to use Typeinator in your uh, Mac or your PC environment. For It's a great productivity tool. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to helping you again in the near future. Bye for now.